wish we could stay like this forever. But wouldn't we eventually starve to death and suffocate with kissing? <laughs> no, silly. I meant happy and together. But yeah, technically that would happen. How do you know something bad is going to happen tomorrow? How do you know everything's going to be perfectly normal and okay? Well, I don't really know. I guess that since today was absolutely perfect considering that it's the last day of school, so I can only hope for the best. You positive Polly. You negative Nelly. I love you, Sam. Shouldn't that be the only thing that matters? Yeah, I guess so. I'm just a worry wart. And I love you too, Shawnee boy. Yeah, I know, right? <clears throat> oh, John, Samantha, over here. Glad to see you two are still together. What's that supposed to mean? I just hardly heard, heard from you guys at the same time in my message inbox. What, no more clogging it with you two talking nonsense for five minutes? I mean, thank the Lord, but I was kind of worried one of you, like, broke up with the other one. Well, sorry for worrying you, Carla, but everything is perfectly fine between us. If you guys will excuse me, I have a boyfriend to get to. Oh, don't end now. It's just like the cutest couple. They're too perfect for each other. Speaking of boyfriends, did you get yourself one over the summer, Carla? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. But it happens like on Mars, so it's extremely long distance. If you know what I mean. Meaning he's non-existent? Precisely. So I'm guessing your manhattan didn't go so great, did it? Not in the slightest. But hey, I'd rather pass some math forms in my life rather than fall for all of a boy like Aaron and you. No offense of course, to you or your boyfriends. Um, men taken? <laughs> Well, I guess I'll see you ladies at lunch. Bye. <sighs> well, chop chop then, lady. We'll be late. We have to get to art. <laughs> I am your first period teacher, Mr. Gorgon. Since these classes' tables are set up in groups, if you have your back turned to the front of the class, please turn around and face me, please. So, this class is art class, so naturally, I will be teaching you all to do art. So, blah 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 Talk about stating the obvious, but again with this class, I'm not all that surprised. I know, right? This is going to be a long year. Um, excuse me, but some of us are actually trying to learn here. Sorry, Maxie. I'll be sure to shut my mouth as soon as you shut your lips. That was uncalled for. Your speaking to me is a bit uncalled for, don't you think? Girls, break it up or I will have to separate you two. Sorry, Mr. Goal again. Please go on with your lesson. I'll try to listen harder this time. Thank you, Miss, um... Oh, Miss Felly. Now... As I was saying, it's only the first five minutes of the first day of school and you're already off with your first warning. Last year was a record, a whole 350. You gonna tally them up this year too? It sure is a number. My goal this year is definitely 500. 
Well, let the games begin. Hey, babe. Hey, Alex. How was your summer over in England? So freaking jealous, by the way. Actually, we were just talking about that. And it was quite the adventure, especially with Aaron coming with me and my family this time. It was gorgeous. There, that's all I have to add to that conversation right now. Well, that being gorgeous, you know. There was constant sunshine and just made it that much better. And Aaron got to meet pretty much the whole family. That's quite the step up for meeting your parents, isn't it? Half of them are crazy. You know I heard that, right? I know, see, that's my little secret. Well, anyway, how are you guys this summer? I met a man who lives on Mars and he's head over heels for me. Hey, Carla. Sad, sad Carla. And just what is that supposed to mean, Erin? Just your stories. They make me laugh. Ha 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 ha. Mm-hmm. John and I went to the beach and up to the city occasionally. That's where I got her this. Holy Jesus. That's like gorgeous. Why aren't you wearing that right now, Samantha? It's gorgeous. Because I knew this is how you would all react to it. But since I, you know about it, I guess I'll put it on now. <gasps> That's what I told her. It's just the amount you spent on me for it. Am I really worth that much? If you weren't, would I be sitting here right now with you? You just got hit with a cold, hard, but it's a reality goal. Got my yes, ma'am. Speaking of gifts, I have something for you, too. Mm -hmm. Really? What is it? Um, Erin, if you wanted you to know, I don't think it would be right right now. Haha, uh -huh. that's all to your Martian boyfriend. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! How do I look? Beautiful as usual. Think of it as your first day back to school present. I have a date with my Martian boy. I'm probably doing whatever it is you're about to suggest. Okay, so how about we all go out for ice cream after school? Can Rodney come? So that's what you're naming him? Yes, Rodney is my Martian boy's name. I think you may have gone a bit too far with it there, Carla. We'll see who's crazy when they invade Earth. Pretty sure it'll still be you. Well, arguing aside, I guess we're going out for ice cream. My gang's aside, yes. Sure, sounds fun. Well, then I guess we're all going out for ice cream. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Ugh. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for covering me in food. Uh, Carla, can you come with me to the ladies' room? We're good with getting food off of clothes and furniture. We won't be late to class though, because it'll take a while, especially with that mess out of you. Ugh, Sam, can you stay with the guys? Sure, just go get cleaned up, okay? Sorry guys, I didn't mean to do that. I just tripped in. Don't apologize to us, Lewis. Apologize to my girlfriend. Now scram. All the drama of high school. 